Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Um, this will be the final video for the electronic theory portion of uh, for the multi-project electronic learning board, uh, which is up for pre-sale at EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Link below. Today we're going to talk about read switches and uh, and PIR modules, PI passive infrared sensors. Now this is a, a normally open read switch or magnetic sensor. As you can see. This contact internally is not touching this contact. When a magnetic field approaches, it acts to connect the two leads. Now you can't send a lot of power along these things, but you can certainly use them to uh, to as in, you have an indicator. In this case, uh, an LED. You can have it trigger something with your microcontroller. We'll talk about that later. Um, we'll have this, we'll hook up this circuit just a little bit later to show you how the read switch is working. This is one of the peripherals that comes with the learning board. So you can plug your read switch directly into the board and uh, basically complete the circuit. So what happens is when you pretend my fist is a magnet, when it approaches a read switch, uh, power from our VCC line, which is 5 volts, travels through it, through our current limiting resistor and to our diode, which will turn our diode on. When I remove the magnet, this closes and no power gets to the diode in the, the resistor. Um, if you didn't have that resistor there, uh, you would likely damage both the reed switch and the uh, LED because there would be no current limitation and as much, and the diode would pull as much current as humanly possible through the ground. It would burn out. Bad idea. Anyway, so this is a very, 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 very simple circuit and it works. I will simulate it on the electronics learning board in just a minute. But now I wanted to talk about uh, PIR, the PIR module that comes along with the learning kit. This is the PIR sensor module. I'll show it to you in just a minute. This is a, uh, pardon, pardon my uh, drawing here, I know it's not great. This is a white Fresnel cap that covers the PIR sensor. It acts to filter out, it filter out ambient light. Um, the PIR sensor acts to pick up on changes in the infrared spectrum in front of it, and humans give off uh, infra infrared infrared signals. So it picks that up, and the output swings. But it's so the, the voltage is so, so, so low that it has to be amplified and amplified. And, and uh, before it's an actual usable voltage. So imagine the little sensor, imagine one of the audio, the op amp uh, and non inverting amplifiers that we've made uh, in the link below. Uh, and then that voltage would go through a comparator, and there's actually comparator uh, resistors on the board. There's two variable resistors that allow for us to mess with the sensitivity in time. I digress. Three pins. The three pins facing the front of the board from looking, looking at it, uh, first pin is ground, it's actually labeled on the print of the circuit board right here. Pin 1 is ground, pin 2 is out, and pin 3 is VCC. So basically we're easily going to, this is easy, we plug this into our board, plug this into our board, and plug this into our LED and so we can actually see when the, how the output is working. So I've plugged in three wires, three uh, female connectors plug into the pins on the PIR sensor. I've got red on the right, which is our VCC, uh, brown is our output pin, the middle pin, and black is our ground pin. So what I have to do is I'm going to connect 5 volts to the 5 volt line, ground to the ground line, and I'll put the uh, signal line to our LED and our current limiting resistor. And then I'll power it on. So it detects me. I have the potentiometers turned all the way left. You can play with your two potentiometers uh, as you please, experiment with the output, the sensitivity, but again, right now they're turned all the way to the left. Now it's got almost 180 degrees worth of uh, viewing. So I could easily put this, make this into a buzzer. How? Let me do it. Pretty neat, huh? That'll be one of our projects. We'll talk about this, this, the, the schematic at a later date. I just wanted to show you how the PIR sensor works. So now let's talk about a read switch. The multi-project learning board comes with a read switch. It'll actually be uh, something similar to this, so you'll, you'll be able to just plug it onto the board, uh, but it will not come with a magnet. But power it on, or we don't apply power yet, I haven't actually plugged in my AC adapter. What we're going to do is we're going to connect one side to our 5 volt lane, the other side to our LED, plug it 
Pretty neat, huh? So when the magnet when the magnet gets close, it it closes the gap and kind of power goes through the read switch to the 470 ohm current limiting resistor to the LED and it's on. So what about if we put that to our buzzer just for fun? Cool, huh? Anyhow, that's it for the sensors. Uh, there will be a complete summary of what comes with the, the uh, electronic learning board. And it's up for pre-sale at engineeringshock.com and electroniclessons.com. There's a link below. Thanks for watching. This is the 11th and final theory video. There will now be 20 videos coming for the 20 different projects that I've designed for this board so that you can follow along. Thanks for your time, everybody.